Mm. You need to come up here and get you one of these. It's a chicken salad. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, you guys hear them sirens? Listen, I think this mall is cursed. Like, I'm not coming back over here. I love getting packages in. It really fires me up. Hi dolls and welcome back to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, welcome in. So we are kicking off this vlog with me looking a little bit different than my normal vlogs. You see I've got my office wear on, I've got my TV makeup on because um, I just got home from work and I got off early. It's a Friday, I got off early as well because of the World Series that's going on. So shout out to sports. Um, so yeah, oh, and if you watched my previous vlog, you saw me racing back from Vegas to try to make it back to Kentucky on time for work. So I am happy to report that I made it back with time to spare. Um, I got back an hour before I had to go into work, so I made it, but not cutting it that close again. Anyways, um, I'm kicking off this vlog like this because as you can see, I came home and I got some packages in one of which I already kind of opened a little bit, but um, yeah, I got these packages in, so I figured I would open them up. So um, to start, we'll get to this one later. This big box, I already know like what's in here, and I'm so excited. Um, I will just say that um, it is from Alexander Wang, and I've always liked their stuff. I feel like Alexander Wang is a good, like middle tier luxury brand. Like you're not going to necessarily be paying $5 or $50 for something, but you're also not going to be paying $5,000 for something, uh, but you're probably paying somewhere in the $500 range. And um, I like their stuff because I feel like the price point has always matched or exceeded um, like the quality. The quality of their products matches the price. Um, which I think can be hard to come by sometimes these days. So like for me, if I pay $2 for something and you know, it stops working within two days, uh, it's not a big deal because you know, I didn't invest a lot of money into that. But if I pay $2,000 for something and it has the quality of the $2 product, now I'm upset, right? Because now I'm not getting a return on that investment. So I feel like with Alexander Wang, um, they're really good about keeping their um, products, like their clothes and their shoes of higher quality, even sometimes matching the higher tier luxury brands. And I don't know who's been in charge of like their rebranding, but um, this brand in particular, I've never, you know, I've always known them to be like a decent brand, but it's never like stood out to me as like a favorite necessarily. But this year their designs and like their rebrand has been on point. Like I've caught myself actually physically like going onto their website to see what they have. So um, whoever is like in charge of that is doing a good job. Um, so as far as what's in this big box from Alexander Wang, if you're a TikTok girly, you already know what it is, the viral um, popular sweatpants, the Alexander Wang sweatpants that um, everybody is loving right now. The viral sweatsuit is the pink one. So uh, I went back and forth between pink and a neutral color. Um, because pink is my favorite color, but most of my like lounge wear and athleisure wear, um, it's all neutral. So they had both options in my size. So I'm just going to unbox and show you guys what color I decided to get. And um, we'll talk a little bit more. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So it looks like we've got a return label right off top. Is this the receipt? No, this is just confirmation of order, delivery note, and a return label if we need to return it. And so cute. 
cute already. because it's giving very much trash bag. <laughs> Where's the box? But that's okay. That's neither here nor there. That's not what this is about, right? <sighs> I'm so excited. I'm just gonna, oh, I was gonna say I was gonna cut it with these scissors, but looks like I don't need to. Let's open it up. Oh my god, wait, let me make sure there's nothing else in this bag. Oh, there's nothing else in this bag. Presentation, two out of ten now. <laughs> but I mean, again, middle tier luxury, so you can't expect like, you know, the same presentation as some higher brands, but that's okay, that's okay. Okay, let's look at them. <gasps> ah! Oh, these are thick, these are nice. These are thick, you guys, and they're warm on the inside. They have like a, what is this material on the inside? Oh my gosh. Okay, these are some good sweatpants, I'm excited. Okay, so, what is this, just a tag, I think. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, so you guys see, I didn't go with the pink. I went with the neutral color. I got these gray sweatpants, the gray version. I just felt like the pink, like I said, pink is my favorite color, but all of my like loungewear and athleisure is neutral colors. And when I was thinking about getting the matching top, which they didn't have my size in it, so I didn't get it. But now I'm thinking, I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not because I don't like to be bad. Oh. I don't like to be baggy on the bottom and on the top because the top is like a crew neck oversized like pullover, you feel me? So I like to be like if I'm baggy at the bottom and top, I'm very small. So I just feel swallowed up and sleepy like I want to take a nap. I'm too comfortable. And if it's tight on the top and bottom, I'm just uncomfortable and I'm thinking about going home to like get out of it. So I really like being baggy and comfortable on the bottom and then compressed and form fitting and tight and figure flattering up top. So that's why a lot of times you see me in sweatpants and like my Skims bodysuits. And ultimately I just felt like the neutral, the gray was more my speed and I can pair it with a ton of different bodysuits that I have and all of my shoes are pretty much neutral also. So it just made the most sense. And the pink was just really, it was really bright. And I don't know, I guess it just wasn't for me right now. But it's it's still super cute. But let's get into the sweatpants. So you can see they're gray. And then they've got the, it says wang and white. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm gonna try to show, let me see. I can't. And you see it has this really thick uh, waistband, which is so nice, like. And then the tag, it just says, um, Alexander Wang there. I mean, this is nice material, you guys. I told you they had quality material. And then the bottom is just like, I think it's, like a tailored or like jogger type um, kind of vibe. I'm hoping, I'm gonna try them on for you guys. And then the pockets are actually zipped. So you can like zip up whatever's in there. And then, oh, and it has a back pocket that has, um, I don't know if you guys can see, but the back pocket, this is a zipper too that you can unzip. So, yes, so cute. I can't wait to try them on. I'm definitely gonna wear them this weekend. Um, this is going to be an airport fit for me, a running errands fit for me, a casual, cool, chic fit for me. Um, 
I love it. And like I told you guys, I knew the quality was gonna be on point. Okay, so as far as price goes, um, these sweatpants were $195. Um, so you think about it, if you get the shirt with it also, that's like $400. So right in that range that I was talking about earlier. But just the sweatpants alone, these were $195. I got them in the size extra small because I heard that they might run a little like bigger baggy. And these are the Essential Terry Classic Sweatpant Puff Paint logo. Um, but the, where was I reading somewhere else? I think this is called Washed Black. It's like a stone gray, you guys, you can't miss it. Um, I was thinking about, they had another color that I really liked, like a washed like brown. And I was like, ooh, I don't have anything that color, but they were sold out of that color. Um, I am so glad I got these. Like I said, I told you guys I was going back and forth. Oh, these are about to hit so hard. And I like with the neutral, um, you can like dress this up or down. I told you it was gonna be an airport fit for me. So look out for that in next month. You guys will see it because I've got somewhere to be. Um, but also running errands, like I know I will be in these this weekend. And with it getting colder outside, it's fall slash winter get you a pair of these. I just know they're gonna last forever. And I like that it's got the little label here, but it's kind of understated. Like it's not over the entire sweatpant. It's not too big. You know, you feel me? It's not too much. It's giving a little, but not too much. Um, and then because it's neutral, I know that I can dress this up if I want it to like go during the winter time when it's a little chilly, but go get drinks at the bar or something, this is really easy to put a bodysuit and heels with and like a cute bag. So yes, and I'm going to try them on for you guys and show you when I'm actually wearing them. But so like 10 out of 10 for these sweats already. <laughs> okay, you guys, so now I'm going to unbox the next thing that I got, um, which is this package. Um, from UPS Express, and um, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's some hair. I figured I would order some tapins, yay! Um, I have been wanting to try tapins for the longest, you guys, um, but I just didn't really know anything about them or what to expect, really, but now I feel like it's the perfect time to do it. Um, I just worry about it being like, like the maintenance of it, I guess. Because I remember, well, I don't like that it's not like a protective style, number one. But further, I remember when I switched from traditional sew-ins to closure sew-ins. Because I did not like when the, um, when I had to start like trying to actually blend my hair into the sew-in like myself. And so I'm hoping that it's not a lot of maintenance to keep up with the tapins and I hope I don't have to constantly like be putting heat to my hair to blend it over and over again. But again, because it's not a protective style, I don't see myself wearing it multiple times throughout the year or even for a long period of time at one time. So I'm hoping that I'll be okay. Um, this is the little cute bag it came in. <laughs> this hair is from D Hair Boutique. You guys ask me all the time on Instagram, you guys DM me asking me where the hair came from for my wigs, for my sew-ins, everything. It's from D Hair Boutique. I've been using them since I started getting um, wigs and weaves done. It's their card. Um, they are a Texas-based hair business. I don't know if you guys can see this, but um, here are some hair care tips, and I don't know what's on the back. Oh, their location, more tips for your hair. And Angela Simmons is actually like their, the face of it, which I thought was pretty cool. So yeah, and then it says, hello beautiful. Um, I don't know if you guys can really see, but it says hello beautiful on the packaging. And I got um, 26 inches because, you know, I'm trying to be a jet black middle part bust down 30 inch, well, 26 inch. They didn't have, they were sold out of everything else, but if they had 30 inch, I would have gotten it. Um, let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it's giving, girls. 
I always get like bundles and closures and stuff from them. This is, they just came out. They just came out with tape in. So. Ooh, la la, okay. Oh, is it, is the tape stuck to the thing? I don't know how this would work. So this is the hair. Hold on. It's the hair. It's not focusing. So here's the tapes that I guess they're going to be taped in my hair. And then um, here's the hair. One thing I've always loved about this brand is mm, the hair always smells so good. It's quality hair, you guys. I get compliments on this hair all the time. And people always ask me where it's from. It's from D Hair Boutique. Um, yeah, like I said, they just came out with tape in. So uh, I'm gonna try them out. I saw that I might, if I want a fuller look, I might need to order another one of these. So the price for this hair um, is $275 for, I think it comes with 40 tapes. I don't know if that's good or bad, but um, that's what I wanted to mention. This hair is a little bit pricier from this brand, but I think it's worth it. You can cut it, dye it, wear it a million times and it's gonna hold up. You can straighten it, curl it, wet it. It's that good, good, okay? <laughs> but I think I'm gonna order one more so that I can have a fuller look and like pop out on the girls one time. You feel me? I'm excited. I hope it doesn't like weigh my hair down, but I just feel like I'm gonna look glamorous. I'm really excited. Um, this is what, um, the hair normally comes in this box, which it just says D Hair Boutique Luxury Hair Extensions. They're normally pink like this or a hot pink, or um, they're sometimes orange during Thanksgiving and Black Friday. And I would open it, but it's literally filled to the brim with hair. And I don't need you guys to see my mess. I have hair everywhere, okay? Okay, you guys, I'm trying to go quickly now because it's getting late and I'm getting tired. Um, but this last package that I have here is the one I've already opened up. It's from my aunt, my fabulous aunt. Hello. I swear my aunties are like the definition of um, rich auntie status. They're so fabulous and they are always like sending me fabulous things like putting me on to different fragrances, brands, whatever. So thank you. Um, but actually what she sent me is a dress from one of my favorite designers, Hervé Leger. If you know, you know. Um, they make incredible dresses for my petite fashion girlies. The way I tell you this will accentuate your curves and like flatter your curves in places you didn't even know you had curves. And I think that they are just one of those old school, like high class, sexy, sophisticated, like top model feel brands that have withstood the test of time. Um, so she got me this, well, here's the tag for you to see. Hervé Leger, Perry. Um, this green body contrast and you can tell like from the material you guys like look at this it is thick good material okay and baby when i tell you i'd be squeezing into these dresses squeezing but if i'm going out to drinks date night anything i'm probably wearing one of their dresses um she got me this dress and then she also got me um, a navy blue dress from them that I've worn a few times. I just haven't gotten pictures in it So I have to get pictures in this one and the other one, too Thank you so much. Like I love this brand. It can be so hard when you're small to find um, Brands that are like good material like good quality clothing That can be staple pieces in your closet that actually fit you right and hug the curves that you do have so um yeah, this one does it for me every time. A lot of you guys were asking um, about the purple and navy striped dress that I wore to Chicago. Um, I'll insert a picture of it here. That is this brand also. The price for the dress was $790 originally. So yeah, their dresses are a little bit pricier, but I know that they just did a collab with like Forever 21. I don't know if that's the same quality as their original dresses. 
But if you have always been interested in the brand, but you're not wanting to like spend that much money until you know that you like love it and you're gonna be wearing it for years, that might be a way to like get your toe wet with the brand and dabble in it a little bit before spending a huge chunk of change. Um, but yes, love the dress. And then she also got me this cute little like handbag that's also green. So super excited to wear that also. So thank you so much to my aunt. And yeah, those are my packages. And now ah, I'm so tired. I'm just gonna get ready for bed now. And I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hi, you guys. Good morning. It is the next day and we're about to head out the door, but I just wanted to show you what I am wearing. So I ended up putting on the Alexander Wang sweatpants. They are so cute. I didn't realize when I was showing you guys last night, they don't have a drawstring so I was nervous if they were going to fit around my waist but they fit pretty nicely it's kind of like baggy here like the pants are kind of baggy but um it's still super cute and I like them a lot super comfortable so yeah I'm wearing these Alexander Wang sweatpants I was going to pair it with the white top but it just felt too matchy matchy so I kind of off matched it with this charcoal bodysuit this t-shirt I think it's from like the essential t-shirt collection uh, from Skims, so Skims bodysuit, my Alexander Wang sweatpants, I'm wearing my um, sandals from Christian Dior, and then um, gloss I need to put on, you guys already know, it's the Hot Chocolate Heat from Fenty Beauty, mm -hmm. so good, and then <laughs> why am I always rushing? For my sunglasses, I'm doing um, my Fendi sunglasses because it is shining outside. And then for my bag, I'm just going to do my Saint Laurent bag. And then for fragrance, again, she's like my favorite right now. Um, I'm going to go with the Valentino Born in Roma. So yeah, that's the fit for today. Okay, we are heading to Starbucks, girls. I uh, um, want to try this new variation of the pumpkin cream cold brew because I like the regular one, but last time the way they made it, it wasn't hitting. So I saw a new version on TikTok. So let's see if they can make it that way and if it's any better. Hi, um, can I get a grande pumpkin cream cold brew with toffee nut instead of vanilla? And can you blend the pumpkin spice topping into the foam? I'm sorry, what was that last part? And can you blend the pumpkin spice topping into the foam? Oh, uh, with like the yeah, cinnamon stuff? Yeah, I got that for you. Can yes. You know? Um, and just a croissant warmed up. Mm-hmm. Um, that'll do it. Okay, thank you. Just wanna up the score. Do you guys like um the new song Mariah the Scientist and Des Dior came out with, Stone Cold? I think it's pretty good. We've been hearing snippets on the internet forever. Um and they finally put it out. I think it's pretty good. Okay, you guys, I'm about to get this drink. So um, once I get it, I'll check in with you guys and we'll see if it's hitting. Bye. Uh, yes, please. Okay, let's peel out. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm already pissed off. <laughs> Do you know how you can just look at a coffee and tell by the color if it's going to be good or not? Like, I know how they like to say we have six senses, right? I think that's how many they say we have. But as women, I feel like the seventh is knowing if a coffee is going to be good just by looking at the color of it. 
and by looking at the color of this oh my gosh you guys this is gonna be so nasty <gasps> no why let me just let me shake it up because maybe you know you can't judge a book by its cover let me just shake it up there's still hope just shake it just shake it up it'll be fine look <sighs> i'm starting to panic I got a little croissant too because I have not eaten eaten yet today and I need to put something on my stomach. Oh my god, you guys. I can't handle this commotion. Oh I gotta take my sunglasses off for this. See, this is what I get for trying to try new stuff. I know I'm picky. Let me can you see the color like I just feel like personally it's a little dark for my liking. I'm not a big coffee girl like that in the first place. Okay. Oh, okay, let me stir it. Ooh, okay, 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 yeah, the, the color is becoming what I need it to be. Let's see. Okay, this, this color is more my speed. Can you guys see? Okay, we're getting... Why was I freaking out? This is so good. You guys, this is so, okay. I can put my shades back on now. The panic's over. Mm. Listen, I was never scared. I was never stressed about it. I knew, I knew it was gonna be what it needed to be. Like, period. Boy, if you don't get mm. this is good. Okay, um, if you guys want to try this too, um, let me just give you the recipe right now. So you ask for a pumpkin cream cold brew with toffee nut instead of vanilla. <laughs> Why am I so confident about it now? And ask them to blend the pumpkin spice topping into the foam. It'll change your life. Wow, this is so, this is delicious. Yeah, mm-hmm. And then I got a little croissant because I'm starving. It's just a regular croissant. This is so good. Mm. Yep, they did that. Okay, um, let me drop off a, off a package and then there's something else I want to talk to you guys about too. So, see you in a bit. Mm. Anyways, I'm outside the UPS store because I had to return a package. I didn't vlog in there because I, I was in there for two seconds. I just dropped it off and they gave me my little receipt. But I want to stop in here and talk to you guys about this book. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, I love to read. Like, obviously, I'm a journalist. I love to read. Um, and I used to read all the time, but then life got busy, and I just stopped. So I made a goal to read one book a month. I started this month, the month of October, and I just finished. What's today's date? October 29th. So just before the end of the month, I finished my book. I'm so proud of myself. So I'm going to be reading one a month. And... Um, this month, because it's spooky season, I read this book called The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. Riley Sager? It's probably Sager. Can you guys see? It's kind of like the sun's in a weird place. But this is what the book looks like. Oh my gosh, you guys. And so let me give you a quick little like book talk book review, I guess. The book was so good, first of all. If you're into slow burn, like thriller mystery type, murder mystery type vibes check it out it's so good um without giving too much away it's basically about this famous actress who like her husband dies and she develops a drinking problem and she's always in the press for like basically like doing something bad and her life is raveling apart so she goes to her family's lake house to like escape it all escape the pap paparazzi and everything and she just plans to stay there for a while to try to get her life back in order to mourn and grieve her husband 
and to get her drinking problem under control. And then not too long after that, a couple moves into the house across the lake, <laughs> like the title of the book. They move into the house across the lake and the husband is a tech tycoon and his wife is a former supermodel. And the actress ends up saving the supermodel from drowning in the lake and they become like good friends. But then at some point the actress starts like snooping into the house into the model and the tech guy's house across the lake with binoculars like she kind of starts spying on them and then all of a sudden the supermodel turns up missing and that kind of starts the sequence of events and how everything snowballs after that well really the near drowning when the girl the actress saved the supermodel from drowning in the lake that's what really started everything um and then it kind of like snowballs from there but it's a really really good book i'll say this like nothing is as it seems and the last 100 pages it was like giving me whiplash just from like all the different twists and turns it started to take like i every time i thought i knew what was going on and who was responsible for what um it was something different but it was a good reminder for me like and for everybody who reads this, mind your business <laughs> because, listen, you don't want to be getting into other people's stuff, right? Um, it was a really good book. I would probably give it a 9 out of 10. The only reason why I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 is because it kind of felt like, you know, when you watch your favorite show on TV and they take all this time to build up the character and build up the plot and everything's great. And then the final season just kind of feels like rush and they like kind of throw everything at you and throw everything up against the wall. And you're like, wait, wait, wait. I the book was really, really good. And um, I really like the way it was written. They had great reveals and surprises, which as a journalist, I appreciate reading something where I like most of the time I know what's going to happen because I write stories every day. I really didn't know what was going to happen with this book, but I just felt like at the end it was like too much going on and they were just trying to fit everything in kind of quickly. But yeah, so it was really good. Like from the first page, the very first page, they trick you. You think reading it, they're talking about one person. They're talking about someone totally different in a totally different situation. Like I was shook, you guys. So if you're into slow burn, thriller, murder mystery types, pick up this book. It's got a sprinkle of paranormal in there too, but not really. It's really, really good. Highly recommend. Nine out of ten. Um, I think I already know what book I'm going to read for November. I, As soon as I finished this book, I was on Barnes & Noble's website again to find my next one. Because um, I just, I love reading and now I'm back hooked into my routine. So, um... I think I know which book I'm going to get, but I'll bring you guys along with me when I go pick it up, which will probably be early next week. And if you are in a book club or you want to join a book club, or if you have any recommendations for a good, like probably virtual book club, um, let me know because I am down. Okay, so that's enough about that. Now I need to go to Target because my job is having a Halloween potluck. And while I had great intentions initially to like cook something cool and creative and Halloween inspired, Halloween's in two days now, baby. Like my back's against the wall. <laughs> like the, the time is now. So I'm probably gonna go to Target and just see if I can find something to like bake, like some cookies or brownies or something. They're probably all out because everyone's already bought everything for Halloween. Mm. This is, you guys, I can't even focus. Mm. But we're going to go to Target, see if I can find anything to bring to this potluck. Really, my only goal is to not get sick at potlucks because you know how sometimes it can be. But honestly, at our new station, we always have food. Like, there's so much food and I eat it all. <laughs> and I've been fine, so I think we'll be fine. And then I need to go to Michael's because I... Um, I'm decorating a Christmas tree for charity. If you guys didn't know, I was in a sorority in college and it was a volunteer-based sorority. Well, I guess all Greek life is supposed to be volunteer-based, supposed to be, but mine really was volunteer-based and that's where my love of volunteering and giving back to the community really grew. So I love to do that, especially around the holiday time. Um, so yeah, my job, actually this 
um, tree that I'm decorating is through my job. They said it was voluntary. And at first I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna do it because I don't have a ton of time, but then nobody was taking the trees and I felt really bad, so I grabbed one. It's like a miniature tree and basically we have to decorate it and then we give it to the charity and they're gonna auction it off and use that money to support their cause, which I think is kidney health um, or like funding research to improve kidney health, I believe. So I know Target just put out some Christmas stuff in their little like three and five dollar section and I saw some cute miniature stuff that I think can go on the tree. I don't really know how I'm gonna decorate it yet, but I don't want it to be too like minimalistic, but I also don't want it to be too gaudy and like crowded. So I'm gonna go to Target, I'm gonna go to Michael's and see what we can find. So, and then I'll show you guys once I start decorating it, but yeah, let's go. I got a Drake in the studio, and I don't trust me that I'm this bitch. She moved out of state, she took my left, she's seeking forgiveness. She was a dad, and she wanna know I'm trying to be business. Daddy was not around, but my mom was not around. I was a mom from the top of the board. Yeah. 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 You guys, none of this stuff is what I need. It's like little ornaments you can put on like your desk but not something that you can hang like a legitimate ornament that you can hang on a tree. So I might have to go to Michael's because I'm not seeing what I need here yet. But I'm holding out hope so we'll see. Fingers crossed. Okay, you guys, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I asked one of the employees if they have any Christmas ornaments out because I couldn't find anything. And basically she's like, not really. She's like, check back November 1st. I guess they're just focused on clearing out Halloween stuff right now. I saw like a few little ornaments around, but some of them were way too big, like they were for legitimate Christmas trees. What I'm decorating is like a miniature tree. And then the other Christmas decorations that are out are, um, they're not ornaments. So I'm probably going to have to go to Michael's because, yeah, I'm just not finding what I need. So. Let me get the other stuff like for the potluck and everything and then um i don't know i'm supposed to have this done by next week and i'm getting a little nervous now because i can't find anything so i even checked the chip and joe section nothing <laughs> um anyways okay so i'm going to get this up for the potluck look around a little bit more and check in with you later Bye. You guys, is this a black Santa? Because if it is, I'm going to get it. I can't tell though. I mean, it looks like it, but if it's black Santa, I'm going to get it. <laughs> So now I'm looking for body wash. I wanted to try Native's new um, since what was it, eggnog and sugar cookie. I don't see them here though. They must be sold out. This one smells kind of good. It's warm cider and cinnamon. Mm, that one smells good. Let me try the coconut and vanilla. I don't see the sugar cookie or the eggnog. That's the one I really... Oh no, that one's nasty. Don't do that one, that one's nasty. Well, the warm cider and cinnamon smells pretty good. Let me see. That's crazy, like everything that I need today is not here.
Um, let me look around a little bit more. Maybe I'm missing it. We might have to go somewhere else, girls. Okay, you guys thought I was lying, but look, it's all still empty right now. Um, and they said they are just starting to like put out Christmas ornaments, so there's like nothing. <laughs> like they have cute little things like this. Like maybe I can do like a dessert theme, but I just feel like it's not really giving. So I don't know. <laughs> Let me look around here for a little bit. Okay, like hold out some hope for me. Hey you guys, so um, I'm just getting home from running my errands. Sorry, I'm just lighting my candle so I can set the vibe. Oh, I got this at Target um, the other day. It is their pumpkin spice trail mix candle. Looks like that and it smells really good. Not too sweet or anything. It doesn't smell like sugar cookies, but it smells like fall. It smells like sitting around the fireplace during fall. It's really good, you guys. And it's pumpkin spice trail mix. I like that because trail mix is like a mixture of things. And I feel like this scent is like a mixture of like all smells fall. So anyways, uh, just got home. I cannot believe I cannot find anything really. Like I found a few ornaments at Target that I'm going to use to decorate the tree. But I also stopped by Michael's. They didn't really have anything. And I needed to pick up some rhinestones for a different project that I'm working on. Can you believe they told me they don't, well, I guess this store, this Michaels, they don't sell them in store anymore. You have to order them online. But I'm like, you are a crafting store. Like, what do you mean you don't sell rhinestones? Um, but let me show you what I got. So for my, my Halloween potluck at work, I got a couple of these Halloween sugar cookies. Listen, don't judge me, okay? Like, it was slim pickings. But people love these sugar cookies for whatever reason, um, so it'll be fine. For ornaments, like I said, they didn't have a lot of stuff, but I got like this. I got some different like um, candy canes, a rocket, um, where are the other ones? An astronaut. Um, alien so i guess like my theme is going to be like space themed so i think that's really cute cute and creative so i'm going to try to figure out how i'm gonna put that together um yeah and then i just got some other stuff for the house but <laughs> we're gonna see like maybe at the top of the tree instead of a star i could put a rocket and say like blast off or something i don't know girl we're gonna figure it out and then i got I was starving, so I picked up some pizza from Little Caesars. Mm -hmm. It's giving low vibrations. <laughs> um, girl, and you know it used to be a $5 hot and ready. Tell me why now. They said, like, due to inflation and I guess the economy and everything, it's like $6 and some change. Girl, be freaking for real. Anyways, I'm going to get settled and put some of this other stuff I got away. Mm. And then once I start working on the tree, I will show you guys that. Hey you guys, I'm about to head out of the door and I'm going to talk to you guys in the car more, but I just wanted to hop on here really quickly and show you my outfit for the day. So here it is. It's just this two-piece set that I got off of Amazon. So cute. Um, like a little fitness set. I don't know if you could tell on camera, but like it has like threaded, like it's some good quality material, like ribbed compression material and it's just this cute little jacket this crop jacket and these like spandex high waist leggings and um it's got like a little zipper cover up here you could wear it high neck which is what i like to do because i love high necks or you could like zip it down however high or low you want um and yeah it's just super cute and comfortable i got this like a year ago um and it still fits like brand new like the stretch is still there like it's not like loose and sagging in the back and yeah it's just super cute to go work out in or run errands i wear it for both um and if i can find the link you guys i'll link it because now i'm like dang i need to like order another one in gray they have it in so many different colors um and i'm just like it's super comfortable but also i just feel a little like bloated today and something like this i feel like just like <laughs> snaps me in so yeah 
that's the outfit today also because it's like cold and windy and rainy so i have this and um i'm also thinking about maybe wearing a hat because like i said it's cold and windy and rainy so got my new side showing and then i've also got um this one which is like a play on the show friends which i thought was super cute but i don't know like I just, I don't know if it's giving. What do you guys think? I feel like it's not giving. <laughs> but also it's probably because I'm wearing my hair in a side part and I need to put it in a middle part if I'm gonna wear a ball cap. Like, hello? Mm -mm. <laughs> no, we don't like that, but that's okay. Um, well, why don't we just keep it on the Amazon train because I also have just like some black shades that I um, also got from Amazon. Yeah, I think that's cuter. Yeah, let's go with that. And then <clears throat> I've just got my little gloss here, my Fenty lip oil. Mm -mm -mm. put that on and yeah girl so this is it um i have my saint laurent bag that i'm wearing and my amazon set my amazon glasses my gold bracelet is from coach and then my shoes are these beige runners that i got from pretty little thing so yeah that's it. Oh, my fragrance. I'm wearing um, for fragrance. This fragrance is called Midnight in Dubai. Why I'm wearing Midnight in Dubai at 11 a.m. in Kentucky, I don't have the answers, but okay, <laughs> let's go. Boys, I can't talk to broke boys. I can't talk to broke boys. I can't talk to broke boys. Uh huh. When Drake said he can't talk to broke boys, he ate that. Because I too cannot. Um, anyways, hey y'all. Good morning. Well, I guess it's heading into the afternoon now. Um, I just got my little Starbucks coffee. As you can see, it's the same little cold brew recipe that I showed you guys earlier in the vlog. Mm. And now we're heading to the mall. I have a few things I need to do this afternoon. Um, we're going to the mall. And then I... Oh, I also got this little croissant. You guys know the drill. Um, I need to go to the mall. I need to go to Sephora to get a few little toiletries um, from the Sephora sale. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to go back to Target to pick up a few things. I need to go to the bookstore. But I don't know if that's going to happen today because that's clear across town and it's really packed out here this weekend and I'm not trying to like mm, be in the middle of all that. And then I got some stuff to do around my house, which I need to get all this done in like the next two hours or so because then I need to get ready for dinner because I'm supposed to be going to dinner tonight. So yeah, woo, we got a lot to do today, girls. Um, quick little story about this mall that I'm going to. So when I first moved to... <laughs> Kentucky I um, came to the mall and I was getting an outfit for the weekend no this was around Super Bowl weekend yeah because I was going out of town and I went to the mall to get an outfit it was the weekend it was a lot of people right and so <laughs> I am shopping inside I find my outfit everything's good to go and I'm walking out and I see a major crash in the parking lot and as I keep trying to walk to the area where my car is, I'm getting closer to this crash. I'm like, oh my gosh, please, 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 no. Tell me someone did not crash into my car. Well, they did. So I get over there and I don't know if this guy was drinking or what, um, but he had, he had to be, because there was like no way to like maneuver your car like that unless you were drunk. He had crashed into my car and like the three cars next to mine in the parking lot. And he hit my car so hard, you guys, that, um, my car ended up crashing into the car in front of mine and the car like on this side and then he hit three more cars this way and i was like freaking out about it 
It was this big scene in the parking lot. And then while I was on the phone with my insurance, he hit my car again. And my insurance lady was like, did he hit your car again? And I'm like, girl, yes. Um, so he ended up having to cut me a big check for that. But moral of the story is every time I come to this mall now, I have anxiety because I'm like, I do not want someone to hit my car. I had one payment left on that car to you guys. Um, I was pissed off. Um, so yeah, every time I come to this mall now, I like take pictures of my car before I walk in. I'm like, please do not hit me. Like I try to be in and out, like please. So, um, yeah. So I'm just going to run in really quick and get what I have to get. Um, oh my gosh, but I did also want to talk to you guys about the my company's Halloween potluck <laughs> and the um, Christmas tree <laughs> that I decorated um, for the charity. So the Halloween potluck was cute. Like you could tell they put a lot of thought into it. Like I had a good time. There was food, music, decoration. Um, they had games like it was cute. Okay. But if you remember, I like ran to target and just picked up some store-bought sugar cookies for the event. And I was feeling so bad at the time. Cause I'm like, Oh, people are going to judge me because I didn't bring a homemade dish. Like, this is so bad. I feel so bad. Da, da, da. Girl, I, dang, it's windy. I really should have put my hat. You guys see these leaves flying all over the place? Oh my gosh. We're all going to the mall. We're going to get there. We're all going to get there. Just back up off me. Um, anyways, so yeah, so I bought the sugar cookies and girl, the corporate girlies are just like me. Tell me why I walked into the potluck and everybody had store bought like cookies, cakes, cupcakes, brownies. And the sad thing about it is... <laughs> that I have done this one time before but like at least I put a little effort into the lie like I would take it out of like the plastic packaging it came in and I would like add a little extra like seasoning I would like heat it up I'd put it in like a homemade pan you know like try to dress it up and make it real for them girl all of us had it in this same little plastic packaging that we got it from the store and I'm like <laughs> y'all are really my twin for real um no, a few people though, like some of like my older coworkers, you know, like with families and stuff actually brought dishes, but for the rest of us, <laughs> we just bought store brought, bought, it was like still in the same little plastic. What, what are you guys doing? Like, look, like I hate coming to this mall, but yeah, so I was so worried about nothing. Like you could tell everybody forgot. <laughs> and just bought something really quick. But because of that, I was starving because we have 50 different variations of cookies and cupcakes and no real food. Thank you. Are you gonna let me go? Thank you. Mm -mm. I should not have come today. So anyways, um, then they, were, they had games for us to play. One game you had to pop balloons and try to find the gifts inside of them. And some of the balloons had big gifts, like gift cards. Tell me why one of the girls that won the gift card, after I was breaking my back looking for the gift cards, because it was to Starbucks. One of the girls who won the Starbucks gift card is the same girl who helped plan and organize the um, event and set up the game. That's weird. That's suspicious. That's suspicious. Um, but no, it was like a great time. Um, and dang, it is packed out at this mall. Okay, hold on. Okay, you guys, so I found a spot, so we're good to go. But I can tell I'm not about to be in this mall long because people are already acting crazy just in the parking lot. Like, it's like the Hunger Games out here. Like, why is everyone fighting to survive? Like, please relax. Um, anyways, oh, so then, so I lost the game at the potluck, which was a little suspicious, but I let it go. Then the next day I had to turn in the Christmas tree for charity, right? I thought we were all friends. I thought we were like playing nice. I thought this was for charity, just like a good time. Why were they in there acting like this was like the Christmas tree decorating Olympics? When I tell you, I saw their trees. I said, oh, hold on. <laughs> Y'all didn't tell me we were going hard like this. So I'll insert some clips of my tree. I did space themed, how I decorated it, and then my coworkers' trees. Because I'm like, oh, y'all were operating on a different level. So I took two L's, um, but it's okay. We're going to recover. So yeah, that's the update on that. Um, 
I'm gonna run in here. It's starting to rain too. I'm over today, you guys. Um, I'm gonna run in here quick. Get what I need to get. Get what I need to get. And get out. Because I'm trying to, I want to get back home before it starts storming. That's the goal. Okay. So, I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, you guys, so I'm back in the car. That's probably like the fastest I've ever gotten in and out of a mall. Like I probably set a record for myself. I think I was in and out in like 20 minutes or less, like seriously. Mm. I wanted to do other things in there, but there was way too many people and I was just like getting overstimulated, I think. Um, so I went into Sephora, I got some goodies from the Sephora sale so like let's talk about it but oh my gosh like this I started filming in there because I wanted to show you guys like oh yes I recommend this or no like I don't recommend that even though I wasn't like getting everything in there and they asked me not to film and so I'm like that's fine that's not a big deal but also the workers were being like very rude and like I know it was like super busy in there like it was a madhouse so there was very busy but like you don't have to be rude like um and I'm like I don't know I go to Sephora like for things every once in a while but I'm an Ulta girly like the workers are always nice at Ulta and like the layout's just better and like, the vibes are nicer like I'm just like ugh, I'm irritated now mm. but that's okay I'm not gonna let it ruin my day so um yes I want to show you guys like the few things I got for my trip um I am doing a lot of traveling in this next month and a half like I'm not even kidding you guys I have um my birthday coming up right off the top of December, my sister's graduation the week after that, um, where, well, let me start from, let me backtrack. Thanksgiving week or weekend, I have my class reunion back in California. The week after that is my birthday at the top of December. The week after that is my sister's college graduation where I'm going to be out of town for a week. The week after that, um, is a vacation that I'm taking with me and my man. The week after that is Christmas. So, uh, yeah, I've got a lot going on and I just needed some toiletries because I hate like when I'm rushing to get myself together on a trip and then you go to like the toiletry aisle at Target and you have to get like different products that might not be the products you use at home and you feel like, oh, well, I just wish I could take my things. So anyways, um, the first thing that I got was this 2% um, BHA. It's a chemical liquid exfoliant by Polish Choice. Um, can you guys see this? It's too bright, isn't it, for you to see? Well, anyways, this is with a bottle. That might be better. Can you see it now? I think so. Looks like it's a chemical exfoliant for your face. And you guys, I literally have been using this for like a month and I've already seen like a huge like drastic improvement in just like my texture and like some hyperpigmentation and things like that and so um, I'm definitely going to pack this with me and yeah it's really really good um, it says that it's for all skin types unclogs and shrinks enlarged pores smooths and even skin tone and you guys I have really sensitive skin so if it works for me like it might be a good chance that it works for you this is like a holy grail product I'm not even kidding like I highly recommend this um let's see what's on the back it's just like directions like you can use like a little like cloth or like whatever or you could do it with your hands like it's up to you this little mini one is $13 at Sephora so yeah go get that so I'm gonna take that with me and then I got literally the last the last little um Brazilian bum bum cream that they had in this little mini travel size and I already opened it so just like leave me alone Mmm, it's so good. And I'm sure you guys are already hip, hip to game on the bum bum cream. But if you're not, like, basically, you need it. 
I highly recommend it also. Um, the mini was like 10 or $20, I think, but it's like a fragranced lotion. Like you could literally put it on and just wear it as a fragrance itself if you want. It smells so good. It smells like vacation in a bottle. You will get tons of compliments on it. And I like it because like, you know, in the toiletry section, if you're going to get a lotion, they just have like suave or like, you know, some little mini, mini like random lotion, which those are totally fine. But like, if you want to like, more luxury lotion to take with you on vacation um i would suggest this bum bum cream it's very thick a nice consistency it pairs well under any fragrance or you could wear it on its own as a fragrance and it's perfect for like a quick little weekend trip like you won't run through it all um you won't be ashy and it's just like a nice little like upgrade to maybe the normal travel lotions that you take with you and you will smell so good it smells literally like coconut island vibes um it has great staying power um that one and the pink one highly recommend also um i also got this isn't really like a travel mini but it's the um laura mercier translucent setting power powder which again is a holy grail product of mine this is a makeup product and it just looks like this and it's setting powder and let me tell you something you guys as a news anchor okay i work in tv i'm under hot lights every day um for my job and this stuff sets my face to the gods like you will not be oily you will not be sweaty you won't be greasy like your face will be smooth matte down okay this is the bust down setting powder if you have not tried this you need it it's a little pricier it's forty dollars but i get the big one because again i work in tv i use this every day but even outside of tv i use this every day like for my makeup in general i don't use another setting powder um there are other ones that are cheaper that i could recommend if you guys want that if this is like more than you're willing to pay for a setting powder there are some other ones that are decent but this is the best and i truly believe and like paying for something if it's a good quality product so i got that and that was 40 dollars for that um and then the last thing that i got is just another fenty beauty lip gloss by rihanna um this one is in the shade fenty glow one and if you guys you guys know i've what my camera's not can you see it well it's fenty glow one you guys i'm sorry anyways um this is what it looks like it's super cute and i just wanted like a nice little pink shimmery lip because i feel like that's so cute and i didn't have that one. Ooh. um and this is um oh this is so cute i know it's gonna be good this is what it looks like it smells really good too i just wanted like a pink girly like lip you guys have seen me wearing the hot chocolate heat one and i just wanted a new one so and i love the fenty glosses they are really cute they feel really luxury on your lips um they last for a really long time the presentation is cute i just love like the little what is this an octagon or whatever and yeah so that's all i got um it came in under a hundred dollars i think i'm probably lying but yeah so i highly recommend all those products i really wish i could have filmed in there to show you guys more just like do's and don'ts um product recommendations but the sale is almost over anyway so you have like another day or two so go get those try them out test them out let me know what you what you think about them um and then i just didn't mention any fragrances in this one because if you go back you can watch my last video that i just posted a few days ago and i do a really big in-depth product review or like fragrance haul review and all of those fragrances you can find at sephora i highly recommend them all if you're gonna try one during the sale go with the good girl they also had a 35 dollar travel set of the rollerball for three of the good girl perfumes so girls go pick that up if you want to try and they had a different scent they had the original they had very good girl and i think good girl supreme in the set 35 dollars um so yeah again i wish i could have taking a video for you guys so you can see what it looks like but you can you can probably find it online so yeah a lot of other good like holiday sets little mini sets which is a great way for you to try out some new stuff um just for yourself it doesn't have to be a gift to someone else so if you want to see how i incorporate any of these products into my routines let me know i can do that as well um because i'm thinking about filming like a 
get ready for vacation with me or like a pack with me or like any of that stuff just let me know and um what else is it going to say i think that's it um so yeah i'm just gonna finish my coffee Ah, uh -uh, you guys hear them sirens listen i think this mall is cursed like i'm not coming back over here um so i'm gonna finish my coffee i have to go to target which is like right across the street i'm gonna go to target i have to pick a few things up do some stuff around the house child i don't know if i'm going to this dinner tonight it's already late and i'm irritated <laughs> with all this commotion and it's so ugly outside it's really like gloomy and nasty and i'm not trying to be out in that but if i do go to dinner later i will check in with you guys then okay bye